Okay, so here we're going to look at designing um, a shadow lamp for laser cutting. I'll show you an example of one. I have one right here. Um, and you could, the idea is you could like shine a light to the base, and then the shadows could be the light will project through these openings onto the wall. Um, and so we'll do this, and and really the focus of this would be just you know this is a, a fun project idea, and you can make some different patterns and stuff. And so we'll start by setting the thickness of our material. Um, thickness variable. Okay, and uh, we're just going to make a really simple box. So we'll start off a sketch on a, the top plane. Okay, we're going to do a center point rectangle. And there we go. We'll set the sides to be equal. Oop. And we'll set the dimension to be 60 millimeters. Okay. Um, and if, you know, if we want, we can make that be a variable. So I'll add a variable here. So we'll say, um, we'll call this the width. Okay. And we'll say the width is 60. So we can add a variable like that. Um, and there you go. So we got our base. And let's add one for the height too. So let's set the height to be 100. Okay. And this way we can go back and change those things if we want to. Okay, so we got our sketch. Let's extrude it. Um, we're going to extrude it to the thickness. All right, and now I'll make the wall. So we'll do two separate sketches. I'm going to go kind of quick here because the preceding videos have laid this part out pretty well at this point. So we're going to go one right there, one right there. We've got our two walls. We'll go ahead and make them equal and set the thickness. And we will extrude it. And we're going to go this way. We're going to call it new. And we're going to set this to the height. Okay. And we got it. And now let's add the other two. So sketch on the bottom face. Add our two rectangles. Just like that. Set them equal. And set the dimension to the thickness. Okay, so we're going to extrude again, make sure it's new. For this one, we'll go, you know, we'll do the height as well, instead of going up the face. Okay, now we're going to add the top. So we'll make a sketch on the top of one of these edges. Draw that box. Okay, then we can extrude downward using our thickness variable, okay? And now we've got our box. Of course, we can, you know, adjust our variables if we wanna make it um, narrower like that, or if you wanna make it wider, something like that. So, um, convenient to be able to do that. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make an opening on the bottom so that we can shine a light through it. And so let's kinda of zoom in here. Add a circle, let's set the diameter of the circle to be 40. Okay, well, we're going to extrude that. Or remove that from that part. Okay. And now we're going to add patterns to the faces. So we'll start with a simple kind of line pattern, like we saw something like this right here. This kind of line pattern. And so we will draw a line. Well, actually, let's make a rectangle first. Let's do actually the offset tool. So we're going to offset these edges. And we'll flip this to go inward. And we'll say, let's offset it about, we'll go maybe six millimeters there. Okay. And now we're going to draw a line like this. And we can adjust the angle of this line however we like. I'm actually going to make it go the other way like this. Okay. I'm going to make a construction line here so I can set the angle. We'll go, yeah, maybe 50 is good. Okay, and now I'm going to kind of make it really long like that. Okay, and I'm going to choose, there's a tool here we can use, uh, the 
linear pattern in a sketch. So we're going to do a sketch pattern. I'm going to select that. And so it kind of gets messy here. So I'm going to click this arrow to change the direction. It's going to pattern it that way. We'll set the separation here of maybe like five. And then we'll set the number of times to be 30. Um, probably don't need 30. We'll say 25. Yep, 25 is good. And so it's patterning it. It doesn't draw it all out for us, but we'll press enter or we double click, I think, to finish drawing it. And now I've got all these lines drawn. So now we're going to go to extrude and remove. And what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and select kind of alternating, oops, wrong one, regions here to get that nice little pattern. And there we have it. Okay. So that one's kind of fun. Um, let's go ahead and jump to the next side. We'll do a more geometric type thing here maybe. So we'll do the same thing. We'll start by making an offset. Okay, we'll set it to be six. And let's see, this time let's do some triangles. So I'll draw a triangle. I'm actually going to do it down here. Make these equal. Like that, and then we'll do another triangle inverted adjacent to it that's parallel. And we'll set these sides equal as well. Okay, and we'll set a gap here, maybe of like two. And we'll set the height of one of these to be maybe like, yep. Uh, oh, can I not set the height? Why can't I set the height? That's interesting. It doesn't want to let me set the height of it for some reason. So I set the length of that side to be 10, and we'll set this gap to be 2. There we go. Okay, so I'm actually going to change this. Let's see. I'm going to delete this guy. I'm going to set it right here. This one right here to be 2. Actually, instead of that, sorry. I'm going to set the outer edges so we can use that for the pattern. So we'll set this to be, there you go, 17. I'm also going to set the distance horizontally here so we can tweak that later. We'll set that to be, say, 18. And the distance here to be... Two as well, so now it's fully constrained, or not weirdly. It's behaving kind of strange with these, but we're, we should be good now. I don't know why I decided to be unconstrained, but it's not really causing a problem. So, so now what we're going to do is we're going to use that linear pattern tool again, okay? And we're going to select all these parts, okay? And we're going to click the arrow to go that way. And we're going to change this the distance to be that 17, because that's how far it is between them. Uh, 17 looks like too much. I guess we need the distance between an edge and that center. So we would need to go um, here to here. What's that? That's 12. So probably 12 plus 2. So we probably need 14. So let's do linear pattern with all these pieces. We'll flip the direction. We'll set this to be, nope, not that one. We'll set this to be 14. That looks good. And so we need probably four times this way. That's good. We'll, yeah. And then we'll add it going this way, probably at least 10 times. Yep. And then we'll have to figure out this distance here. Maybe 12? No, maybe 10? 10 looks good. Alright, looks like I'm going to add it one more instance. 
So this is this this distance here, 10 is probably not the right amount. It probably needs to be a little bit more, but we'll just go with 10 for now. Um, now we're gonna double click. There we go, we got our pattern. And let's actually go ahead and do a quick measurement. So from here to there is 8.66. So we're gonna make this be 10.66. Okay. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose extrude, remove, and we'll there's there's a quicker ways to do this, but I'm just gonna go through and select all the triangles I want to remove. Or <clears throat> we could not remove yeah, we have to remove the triangles, otherwise they're gonna be all floating in space. Actually what we'll do is we're gonna click intersect with let's do this, we're gonna click new and we're gonna extrude this as a new piece and we'll make it symmetric so it goes through and it'll just make a thickness of 10 okay and so you can see how it's going through okay uh, we've got that weird little part at the top we probably want to get rid of <coughs> we could tweak that by going to let's do this my sketch and we're going to just move this whole thing up by a half a millimeter to solve that problem. Okay, so let me think about the best way to do this. So we extruded that. We're going to now come to here and we're going to extrude our... Okay, so we should have been more strategic about this. I'm gonna make a new sketch on this same, I'm gonna hide this sketch, make a new one on the same plane. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna use this guy and not that one that guy this guy and this guy and then I'm going to extrude that to be the um, the thickness and then we're going to switch the direction like that and we'll make it new Okay, so I have this little piece there that's in the middle, and we're going to use that to remove all of our triangles from it. And so with this extrude here, I'm going to go ahead and do a Boolean subtract. The tools will be the this shape right here. The target will be um, this shape right here that we just made okay and we've done that oh wait yes so we did that subtraction but I kept the piece here we don't want to keep the piece and get rid of it there you go and now hmm yep so now we have all these pieces we're gonna do another boolean we're gonna go subtract and for the tools, we're just going to select all these new triangles we made. So from here, there's probably a better way to do this, but this is what I'm thinking right now. So we're going to select all the way here to part 7. And then the target will be this face part. Um, part 2 there. Okay, and there we got it. We removed all those triangles. Probably worthwhile to make those gaps a little bigger looking at it. I'm um, probably going to let too much light through maybe, I don't know. So we'll hide that sketch though, and we'll move on to the next face. So for this one, we'll do another offset of about 6 to start. So offset tool. Let's enter, get 6, and this one we're going to make this little kind of sun, sun pattern right here. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll draw a little sun in the corner and we're going to draw a line right here going out and I think the way that we'll do this one is we'll try doing a circular pattern um, with this piece and I think I can move this to be here okay so this is kind of interesting So the angle will set it to be 
it would be five degrees. And then we'll do probably want more than five though. So we'll set the angle to be maybe 10 degrees. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, and then we'll do maybe eight. Oh, interesting. Okay. So I'm kind of spread out this way. So maybe we want like 16 of them. And we'll go out to here. And then we will set. Oop, didn't like. I I screwed up. So I'm gonna pull this guy down a little bit. Set this angle to be about three degrees. Okay. Now I think we were on the right track there. So what we're gonna do is we'll do that circular pattern. I've never used this tool before. It's kind of interesting. At least in the context of a sketch. So we're gonna click on this. We're gonna move the center to here. We're going to edit our angle to be about maybe 80 degrees going the other way so it's coming up this way uh, looks a little more let's say 95 degrees okay and we'll add maybe 16 instances here of the line that's probably good um, and then let's go with 20 just so we have a lot to work with okay I'm gonna press enter oh I've got a double click I think Nope, that didn't do it. So I gotta figure out how to complete this pattern. So let's try again. Circular pattern of this guy. Move the center here. Change the direction. Change the angle to be 95. Set this to be 20. And then oh, and then I double click. Where do I click? I guess right here. There you go. Um, it's not letting me do it. It's too bad. Hmm. I wonder if I'm doing something wrong or if it's just getting doesn't like it. So that's unfortunate. Um, not sure that there's a better way to do this. So we'll just have to go ahead and add a bunch of lines then. Escape. Add a line. Escape. I guess I can pull them up to here. Nope. So that that circular pattern tool would be interesting. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong, so I'll have to spend more time exploring that. I wonder if it's just a bug or something else. All right, so we got a whole bunch of lines, and now what we'll do is we kind of space them out. And what we're going to do before is we're going to just ran, select kind of random mounts. We'll go five degrees right there, maybe like 10 degrees here, and then we'll go maybe eight degrees or like seven degrees there, and then um, we'll go six degrees here. Nope, didn't like that. I wonder why. There you go, six degrees that time. This time we'll go eight, and then maybe 12, and then, so we got one, two, three. We should add a couple more lines. Uh, so it's one, two, three, four. We'll add one more here. So we like Okay, and we can do those angles or we'll just go ahead and extrude now. So we're gonna select remove and we're gonna remove this region and that region, that one, and that one, and that one, and that one. And there we have it. Okay, so you can go through and you could tweak those angles, have some fun with it, do whichever you like. Okay, now we'll come to this side. So what should we do on this side? Okay, so I had done kind of like a stars and moons thing here, so maybe we'll do something like that. Um, and so we'll make our sketch here, and then we'll draw, you know, like some stars. Maybe we'll use this tool to help us with the stars. So we'll do our our little tool there, and then we'll go ahead and add some. I wonder if this is going to work. 
Sometimes it gets finicky about this stuff. So we've drawn all these edges of our star. Okay. Now what we're gonna change this guy to be a construction pentagon. Like that. And then we will go ahead and select all of our little star pieces. And we'll set them to be equal. Ah, right, there you go, it worked. Okay, we'll set the dimension of it maybe like from here to here. We want to be like 15, probably like half that size. Excellent. I wonder if we could copy this. Let's make some copies. Copy. Paste. Beautiful. So I copy and paste it. I'll kind of rotate it and move it around. And now we'll make another one. So rotate a little bit. Probably easier to move it and then rotate it. Okay. Maybe we'll do like two more of the stars that look like this. So I'll put this one like maybe right here. And I'll do one more. Okay, so we got a bunch of stars down. Now we'll add a moon. Um, so let's see, maybe we'll do like a couple of arcs for like our moon shape. Something like that. Okay, that's all right. That'll work for us. So uh, deselect, and we'll copy that. Put a couple moons on here. The moon, maybe down this corner. So we're, not, we're making sure we're not overlapping with any of the edges, though, because we don't want to end up with a um, with it cutting out of the like the joinery that we created. Okay, so there's a moon. Maybe stick a moon up at the top here. Just kind of randomly, something like that. Okay, let's see. Now maybe just some little like other star shapes. So we'll go with uh, center point rectangle. Try not to get it to snap anything. I'll set these sides to be equal. And I'll set this to be a construction tool. So we're gonna click right here to make it construction. All right. And what we're going to do is we'll just do like a kind of four-pointed star. We'll make it really small too. Yep, nope, it's not going to let me snap there for some reason. It's being buggy. There we go. Okay, so so these guys to be equal. We'll set this distance to be two. And that looks pretty good. Something like set so this to be maybe like three and a half. There you go. And then we'll copy, make a couple of these. So I'll select that. Copy. And we'll go paste one right here. Like that. Put one right here. Oop. You can see that it's this is kind of weird sketch geometry for on shape. It doesn't particularly like this, and you can see it's starting to get slow. Alright, and then we'll add one more down here. And that will be good for this one. All right, so that's done. We'll go ahead and extrude and remove. And now I got all of our kind of stars and moons there. Okay, and so then last step, well, last face we have left is the top. So make a sketch on the top. And how about here we do just 
pattern with circles. So we'll get our offset tool. Oops. Undo that. Start over here. Oops. There you go. One, two, three, four. So the offset of six. Okay. So we're going to this time draw some circles. Okay, and then we'll do a linear pattern of circles. Let me move this guy a little closer though. Um, pattern, offset, nope. Um, where did my pattern tool go? Here we go. Linear pattern. Okay, so we'll change the direction that way and this way. Let's make it be maybe eight this direction. Oh, probably not eight. We'll go six and then this way we'll go twelve. Nope, not that. So we'll make it be no, that was six. Let's see where's it. Oh here it is. There's the three. So I'll make this be nine or seven. And set that separation maybe to be ten. And this one to be ten as well. Okay. And then it might be worthwhile to then taking the original one and moving it right here. So we'll snap that there we got snapped in. And then we should let's set this diameter to be maybe seven. And then we will tweak um, these values here so they end up being kind of symmetric. So we'll pull this in, maybe like this be 9.6. That's pretty good. So we'll do that here too. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. All right, and they'll set this to be then, instead of seven, this way it'll be six. Okay, now we got it. We're gonna go ahead and extrude it. We'll select remove, and we'll go through and just individually select the circles for this one. And on the outside, Okay, now we've got some pretty fun patterns on our shadow lamp here. Okay, the next step is to do our laser joints. So we'll select our laser joint add-on, go switch to automatic, and we will select all these parts. We've got all six of them. So we've got our laser joints added now. And then we'll go ahead and do auto layout. Set the thickness. We'll go 100, 100, and then 2. And there we go. Nope, didn't like that. Make these a little bigger. Let's go 200, 300. Something like that. There you go. So we got it all laid out, and then the next step would be to take it into Kirimoto and export it as an SVG. Okay, and then it's done. There's our shadow lamp. So we can take it back a step, see what it looks like without the auto layout. We've got our circles on the top, triangles, our sun, the moon and the stars, this kind of linear pattern. Um, so I think we have some kind of good, fun patterns here that will create some cool shadows.